Uh, hey, hey there guys, this is going to be uh, another gun collection update. Um, I'm really notorious for uh, buying and selling and trading, so my collection changes quite often. And these videos are just, like, they're more for my enjoyment and something to look back on as anything else. But uh, yeah, as most, as if you guys are my subscribers, a lot of you know I live in Canada, so we are restricted to a lot of kind of dumpy rules. So. Uh, uh, with regulations and that concerning firearms, but uh, yeah, I guess to start off, this is I'll start with my 22. And uh, before I start this, all of these firearms have been confirmed to be unloaded. So yeah, I mean it's not like it's really a safety concern of yours, but but still, um, yeah. So this is a Savage Mark II. Uh, I don't really know the guns in the I think this might be the F model. But it has the uh, the uh, composite stock or polymer style stock, which is a uh, has been um, kind of dipped, I guess. So it's a spider web style uh, pattern or whatever. I think it more it looks more like lightning bolts. I just really uh, I really like the Savage Mark II, and I got this for a really good deal. I couldn't pass it up. I mean, I prefer to just have, say, a black stock, but this doesn't look awful either. Uh, it's a super, super accurate little rifle, um, just with open sights. I have no problem hitting uh, uh, small targets at a decent range. I'm not, I'm not much of a, a bench rest shooter, so I'm not really looking for extreme precision. But yeah, this is the Savage Mark II, with the uh, Accu Trigger. Uh, I'm not quite sure when this. I'm pretty sure this was built sometime last year. I picked this up at the Canadian Tire. Um, uh, kind of local to me, so I paid 250 plus taxes for it, which I think is a good deal for what you're getting here. But uh, yeah, so that's my 22. I only uh, have one, one 22. I uh, decided to get a bolt action because uh, I want to be able to shoot everything I find. So all the junky ammo and all the subsonic and everything like that, I want to be able to shoot everything. So I decided I'd go with my favorite bolt action 22, which is the Savage Mark II. Okay, so next up, this is my uh, Mauser 98. Uh, so it's a Gewehr 98, so it's not a... It's a full length Mauser, it's not a K98. As you can see, this was built in 1917. Um, yeah, uh, full roller coaster sights. I paid $125 for this at a local pawn shop. It was just on consignment. And the price and condition was there, so I couldn't say no to $125. Bucks. Uh, thankfully, I was able to find a bunch of surplus 8mm. For a pretty good deal so I picked that up as well um, it's missing its uh, cleaning rod and the rear swivel but that, I'm not really too concerned this is gonna be a shooter and uh, $125 for uh, for uh, a legitimate uh, German 98 is a pretty good deal in my opinion somebody must have modified the follower in this because there's no uh, last round bolt holes open, which I found kind of odd. But uh, yeah, great rifle. I mean, it's a late, it's a late war production, so some of the machining's a little rough, but everything still functions flawlessly. I haven't had a, got a chance to, to shoot this thing to test it for accuracy, but um, yeah, it's a great rifle. Uh, it's my first German Mauser. I've had a, I've owned a Swedish Mauser at one time as well. But yeah, that's uh. That's my Mauser. Moving on up. We'll uh, go to the shotgun. This is my Mossberg 500, uh, chambered in 20 gauge. So it's a nice little compact little gun. Uh, be a decent little home defense uh, rig, although we can't really defend ourselves with firearms here. But uh, yeah, it's this nice little uh, compact. Uh, 20 gauge. Uh, I got a really good deal on this one as well. Uh, this is also a consignment purchase. Paid $300 for the gun and uh, 25 
uh, Federal Blue Box slugs. It's seven plus one in the capacity for the tube. So it's seven in the tube, one in the chamber. Uh, it comes with these, I don't know, yeah, it's a Mossberg sight, but it's like a 590 style sight. Uh, then the ATI stock. I'm gonna see if it is possible, I don't know if the receivers are the same size, to get the uh, Mossberg SJ style stock. I prefer that over the pistol grip, so like, the pistol grip feels okay, but I really like uh, a standard rifle, rifle style uh, configuration. But yeah, that's my shotgun. I uh, picked this up super recently. Uh, I didn't have a shotgun for a little while, which is a little concerning. I still need to get a 12 gauge of some sort because I have a lot of uh, 12, uh, 12 gauge ammunition, basically. So I need to eventually get a 12 gauge of some sort, but uh, yeah, that's my shotgun. Next up, this is my quote unquote battle rifle. This is the 1954 built uh, at the Tool Arsenal Russian SKS. Uh, chambered in 760 by 39, obviously. This thing has seen some uh, rough, rough use. Like I beat the hell out of this thing, basically just for giggles. Uh, and I ended up breaking the original stock and. Uh, buying this ATI uh, Fiber Force Dragon Off style stock that I got, uh, off, I bought on Cabela's actually for not too, too expensive. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I, I wanted something I could shoot the super cheap surplus ammo through and SKS is just the way to go in that regard. These things go for like 200 bucks new, just a rifle in that uh, regular configuration. So yeah, you get them for like 200 bucks, then you buy the stock, there's 300. So yeah, I mean, for 300 bucks, you're looking at a decent uh, rifle. Okay accuracy, like they're not fantastic, but they're not terrible. Um, but yeah, other than that, it, they're just kind of whatever rifles, right? Uh, next up, we have some more Russian surplus. This is my, my uh, 9130. I'm pretty sure this was made in 42. I don't know, the uh, receiver is pretty washed out. Um, but yeah, uh, I got this for, I think I paid 160 for this. And I know a lot of you guys would be saying that's a lot of money for Mosin, but they're not as cheap as they are down there as they were up there. Um, so I got an okay deal on it. Uh, but honestly, like one of my favorite guns just for uh, shooting, just for shootability. Um, again, I broke the original stock just being too rough with it. So uh, luckily I was able to pick up uh, an aftermarket, not an aftermarket, sorry, uh, a takeoff somebody had after sporterizing theirs. So yeah, this is my 9130. Pretty venerable gun, still cheap to shoot. And uh, yeah, it's actually not too heavy either. They're pretty lightweight um, in comparison to a lot of other guns. But yeah, that's, uh, as you can tell, a lot of my collection is really geared toward uh, military surplus, um, which as you can tell, like, yeah, most of it's surplus. But yeah, next up is my uh, Swiss K31 carbine. I picked up uh, yesterday actually. Um, they had these on sale at the Wholesale Sports in Nanaimo for 300 bucks. So I figured I have to get one eventually. These are just great rifles, guys. I mean, for the money, you're, you can't go wrong. They're super accurate, uh, handy, like handle plate. Um, uh, super, super smooth. Yeah, just great actions, just uh, just great design for, and like the money, like I paid 300. Um, ammo is still kind of available and cheap, I guess. it's You're looking at like a dollar a round if you buy it by the brick, the GP11 by the brick. But yeah, just awesome rifles, guys. And they didn't see too much use to the fact that 
Switzerland was neutral through both world wars, and well, and this wasn't adopted. This was adopted after World War One, but still, like none of those rifles saw any um, any real use. It doesn't seem like so. Uh, yeah, for the money you're paying, you're getting a great rifle, in my opinion. And uh, that that concludes my collection. I uh, I would say it's an okay collection. I'm looking to add a K98 of some sort. Uh, I really like that Mauser. I just need to get something. I want to get the carbine at some point. Uh, maybe an SVT40, one of those, uh, and just kind of whatever uh, spots my eye. But yeah, that's uh, the third collection update I've done. I think I've done like three and five months. So you can see how quickly my collection progresses, changes. Um, and how things move, I guess. Alright, that's, uh, that's the conclusion, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.